But when people walk into a room, within split seconds, people are either interested in you or not. And I'm guessing the reason you're watching this video is because you aren't captivating the rooms you enter. The solution to that is increasing the charisma. And recently, the character I has been able to capture the hearts of her audience in the anime as well as people across the world. And guys, this can be seen across the real world with K-idols like BTS, Blackpink, Stray Kids taking over the world. So learning about charisma can't be a bad thing. This comes in three steps. Are you ready? Let's go. Step one, create an enigmatic persona. Sounds difficult, huh? Let's break it into three micro steps then. Develop a nonchalant confidence that is effortless and understated. Project an aura of self-assurance without overly seeking validation or attention. By appearing composed and calm, you pique curiosity and draw others towards you. Cultivate a cryptic communication style. Craft a communication style that is subtle and elusive. Employ the power of carefully chosen words for interpretation and ambiguity. Use enigmatic phrases, metaphors, and veiled references to convey your thoughts and ideas. By keeping your true intentions hidden, you create an air of mystery that others will find irresistible. Exude unpredictability into your actions and behavior. Embrace spontaneous actions and allow yourself to follow unconventional paths. People are naturally drawn to the unknown and unpredictable. And by embodying these qualities, you will become an enigmatic figure that defies expectations. With a combination of these three, we can now move on to step two, which is create an intense aura. Like A, command attention and respect effortlessly. It's a combination of her unwavering confidence, calculated presence, and the air of mystery that surrounds her. When she enters a room, all eyes are drawn to her, unable to resist the magnetic pull of her aura, her poise and self-assuredness demands acknowledgement and respect from those around her. Now, this is how you do it. I'll give you a couple of micro steps. Project authenticity. Be true to yourselves and your values. Embrace your individuality and express your thoughts and opinions sincerely. People are naturally drawn to those who are genuine and authentic. When you project your true self, you command attention, enhance your communication skills. Effective communication is vital in commanding attention and respect. Hone your verbal and non-verbal communication skills. Speak with clarity, conviction, and purpose. Engage in active listening, demonstrating genuine interest in others. Maintain eye contact and employ confident body language to convey your message effectively. Finally, lead by example. Leadership qualities inspire respect and attention, demonstrating integrity, accountability, and ethical behavior. When you exemplify these qualities, others will naturally look up to you and follow your lead. Now you know how to garner authority in a room, commanding respect at the same time. Now. All you need to do is gain trust and loyalty of others. This is the hardest step, so please listen along. Step 3. Be charming. One cannot help but wonder how I effortlessly gains the trust and loyalty of those she encounters. Just like many idols, it is through their words and actions and their calculated gestures they can create an illusion of genuine connection. But in the real world, fake people get caught. We need to be genuine. When we are real, people will trust us even more. And this is how you can do it. Be reliable and dependable. Consistency is key when it comes to gaining the trust and loyalty. Be reliable and follow through on your commitments. Show up on time, meet deadlines, and honor your word. When others can count on you, they feel confident in placing their trust in you. Demonstrate integrity. Integrity is the foundation of trust and loyalty. Act with honesty, transparency, and ethical behavior. Be true to your values and principles. Even when faced with difficult choices, when you consistently demonstrate integrity, others will trust you and respect you. These go a long way in building trust and loyalty. Treat others with the same kindness and empathy regardless of their position or background. Be attentive to their needs and preferences. So remember, practice these three steps or the micro steps in between them. If you need anything to be explained in more detail, tell me in the comments and we can go even deeper. Now with all of this, go out there and charm the folks in any room.